no Kirk. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, as a courtesy to your fellow media members as well as coaches and players, please turn off or silence your cell phones. Uh, we'll start with a introductory comment from, from Kirk, and then we'll open it up for questions for the student athletes. Please remember to uh, ask for recognition. We'll get a hand mic to you. Uh, and when you ask your question, please give your name and affiliation and to whom you're asking the question. Um, and recording press conferences, press conference video on your cell phones is not allowed in here. Uh, if you're joining us on Zoom, please use the raise hand function for questions. We'll address the questions from the room first and take questions from Zoom as time permits. Uh, Kirk, give us an overview, please. Well, I mean, if, if the first game is any indication of the 2023 College World Series, it's going to be a pretty special one. Uh, I, thought, I thought both teams played extremely well. I thought both starting pitchers, um, you know, did exactly what we thought they were going to do. And... You know, I thought everybody was in character. I thought everybody, everybody played exactly the way we've been playing. And you just got to give credit to Oral Roberts where credit's due. You know, they've done it. Uh, you've watched them in the postseason. You know, they've come back. They're a resilient bunch. They're an old group. And they put a great swing on the ball in the ninth. And, um, but I wouldn't change anything. I, I thought our, our guys played with great effort, great grit. Um, you know, it just stinks sometimes. Somebody's got to lose a game like that. You know, it was two programs that I think left it all on the field and you know it's it's baseball and we're gonna have to come out of the losers bracket and do it the tough way which I'll bet on our guys every single time so uh, congrats again to Oral Roberts okay we'll open it up for questions to the student athletes only for the first few minutes if you have a question please raise your hand and we'll have the ladies get a mic to you so starting off we'll start with Jake over here Jake McKeever, College Baseball Central. Cole, in the Super Regional, coach mentioned it took you a few pitches to get your nerves underneath you. How did you kind of go out there? Because you looked very comfortable. Um, I'd say there's definitely nerves again for this game, obviously. Biggest stage, you know, this point of the year. Um, just settled in, kind of went with my routine, what I've been doing all year, and just feel like, you know, I started cruising from there. You know, got in a good rhythm. Okay, next question. Right up here. Chris Gutierrez, uh, Roxo Media House Frogs today. Cole, uh, you guys have had your backs against the wall before, right? People counted you out in April. What do you what do you tell the guys in the locker room to regroup and flush this one? Me, Cole? Yes. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, we got two Coles. I mean, obviously we've yeah we've been through we've been through worse than this. We've been through a point where we didn't even think we were going to make a regional. So, I, for us, I think it's just about sticking with our routine, sticking with our process, and keep doing what we're doing and I don't we don't really need to change anything I think we're we're, we're gonna we're gonna come back and we're gonna be good so guys can I ask you to take your hats off please no. thank you okay next question okay right back here six that's for Cole with a C uh RBI single to tie the game two run shot to take the lead bases loaded walk um can you just take us through the type of at-bats you had today, it was a different kind of result for each one, but they all seem to be in big situations and big results. I mean, it's nothing really changes. It's the same approach every time. It's getting a good pitch to hit, working counts, and trying to lay off. Like, this guy had good stuff today, and trying to lay off his uh, stuff that was he's trying to guess the chase. So that was going to be my approach. And um, I mean, throughout the, uh, the whole game, it, the situation, I mean, you got you to gotta take it with – or. Uh, you got to take a deep breath no matter what it is and just try to focus on your job. So that's what I was trying to do. Okay, next question. If there are no more questions for the student athletes, guys, you're excused. And we will. Thank you. Please turn off your phone, please. That's probably mine. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. It's not mine. I don't think it's mine. Mine's on silent. Maybe it is mine. <laughs> Sorry, Bill. That's okay. It's these guys. It's not me. It's these guys. Okay, first question for Kirk. We'll we'll uh, right back here again. Yeah, Kirk. It just it seemed like you guys were. I mean, momentum was hard to come by in this game, but it seemed like you started to snatch some of it. How? how 
when you look back, how costly do you feel like those the, the getting thrown out on the bases were to, to kind of stemming some of your momentum in, in situations where it felt like you could capture it? I don't know. I, I don't know how much it – obviously, you don't want to do that, you know, in terms of making some base running errors, but I'm not sure how much it affected the momentum of the game. Okay, here in the back. Matt Tallerini from World Baseball Network. Um, just Carson's presence behind the dish, how do you feel just the composure that he has with the pitching staff and let alone um, going into Sunday's game? Yeah, I mean, Carson's playing. He plays the game of baseball with a pretty slow heartbeat, and everything he does, he does, um, you know, with quality. Even his last at-bat, he ended up swinging and striking out, but I thought that bat was phenomenal. You know, and I think uh, how he's handled our pitching staff, you know, how he receives and throws, blocks, everything. That's why he's, you know, been invited to Team USA, uh, the collegiate national team um, that's coming up later on. You know, I think, you know, the country's seeing what a special kid and special talent he is. Okay, next question. Chris, we'll go back with you. Coach, first off, uh, happy anniversary. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Um, what, what do you tell the guys? You said you've got to do it the hard way now. What, what do you tell them to keep their, their heads up and the momentum going the right way? Well, I'm, it was a great college baseball game. It just sucks that we lost, you know. And, um, you know, there's – I thought the effort, the grit, the determination, everything, they played the exact same way. It just didn't go our way today. And this season hasn't been easy the whole, the whole season, and so – why not make it harder on ourselves now? And um, there's so much investment and, and sweat, blood, and tears in that dugout that, um, you know, they're chomping at the bit to get back on Sunday and get this taste out of their mouth. But, you know, there's nothing to hang your head about. You know, out on the, out on the mound, talking to Luke Savage, I said, you walk off this mound, run off this mound with your head up. You got nothing to hang your head on, nothing to hang your head about, you know, because we're not here if it's not for you. Guy put a great swing on a baseball and hit a three-run homer. You know, it's tough. It's tough to swallow. But we'll get, we'll wash it. You know, we'll we'll flush it. And um, sun's going to come up tomorrow, and we're going to have a good practice. You know, we're going to go, uh, you know, do a do an event here locally with the team and kind of get away from baseball a little bit. And then we'll get back locked in on Sunday to whoever we're going to play. And. The great thing about our team is I think their resiliency and their ability to overcome hard times. Uh, they've done it. They have the whole year. So I'm not worried about that one second. I just want them to understand that the um, sun's going to come up tomorrow and we're going to be ready to play. Okay, next question. Yeah, right up here. Front. Charles ba uh, Baggerly, TC360. Uh, ben Abelt in the uh, sixth inning. Um, took over with a guy on and was able to li limit the damage a bit, but also also gave up a home run. Mm -hmm. Can you talk me through what he did well in the inning, and also what he might have done? Well, I mean, well. I mean, he struck out Jonah Cox, who he literally gets hits every game in a big situation, and he threw a really good slider to Jonah and got him out, and um, you know got Hogan out, and almost wiggled his way out of that without giving up a run and. You know, we were going fastball in, and, you know, he's got a low arm slot, and the ball kind of took off on him, and I think it ended up being a little bit up and away. You know, and it's, um, you know, the, the McCroskey kid did a really good job. I think at that time I kind of looked up as the ball was going. I looked up at the flags, and they had switched. You know, I think earlier in the game that ball doesn't go out. And they kind of switched, and they were blowing from center field to, to right field. And as soon as I saw that as the ball was carrying and saw Austin's back, I knew it was going to be a home run. But... You know, again, like, wouldn't change anything. I thought Ben did a phenomenal job. You know, I thought, you know, Savage, just a couple bad luck hits here and there. But I thought, just a tough way to go. I mean, he's, those two guys, I hope, don't take this on their shoulders because it's a team game and it's something that, again, we're not here if it's not for the Ben A belts and the Luke Savages. And um, they'll be back. We'll be ready to go on Sunday and they'll be ready to pitch again. Okay, next question. Lights, lights. Okay, right here. Again. Can you just, uh, I guess, expand on the Col Coles at bats today, especially in the eighth when they p didn't want to pitch to Braden, and then he comes up and draws the bases loaded walk and gets you guys the lead? Yeah, that's what Cole, that's what we hoped Cole was going to be this year for us, someone that could protect Braden Taylor. 
and he's done a really, really good job at that. And, um, you know, being able to, it's hard to do sometimes because that's going to happen where they're going to walk the guy ahead of you to get to you. And he's been ready for that opportunity every single time. He may not get it done, but he's been ready for it. And, you know, obviously the home run to start the game and then the walk and then the base hit and the four hole. It's just kind of what Cole has done this year. And um, you need that to, to have somebody after Braden. You know, I thought Braden's at bat in the ninth inning was awesome. Hit it on the button, just didn't find any grass. You know, so it's, you know, the fight in our team to get kicked in the gut, you know, with a four-run ninth to go down by one, and then to put the tying and the winning run like we did on base and have a great at-bat by Carson even though he struck out, followed by a great at-bat by Braden Taylor even though he didn't get a hit. We're, we talk about the process all the time. And the results are what everybody remembers and thinks about. But at the same time, those are really good at bats. We just didn't come out on the right end. Okay, Kirk. Well, that's that's our time for you right you now. So, thanks, Bill. We'll see you on Sunday. You bet. Thank you. This press conference in the NCAA Digital Media Hub at ncaa.veritone.com. Transcripts are provided by ASAP and will be posted shortly. And uh, we'll have Oral Roberts here in a moment. Once again, those of you just joining us, um, please turn off your cell phones, uh, and we'll be get to the portion for Q and A. Give us your name and affiliation each time you ask a question, and uh, and no recording on your cell phones here. Ryan, give us an overview. Thank you. I don't know how to overview that thing. Jeez, uh, man. First and foremost, we are blessed. Um, God is good. We are glad we are here. Uh, but what a great college game, man. I think that's what this tournament is about. Um, uh, you know, we, we talked coming into it, and we talked at length about our team and the way they hang in there and the toughness and the resiliency, and uh, it sure was on display this afternoon. But uh, we didn't play real well. Man, credit to that starter. That freshman is, uh, is going to be special. Uh, with mound composure and mound presence that he had. I thought he was extremely tough. Proud of the way Jacob Hall started the game for us. He gave us exactly what we wanted, ex exactly what we needed um, to get it to the bullpen. And, man, we found a way to, hung on, to hang on. Uh, Blaze makes a big swing, but uh, I, I told our guys after the game, man, this is going to take everybody. It takes everybody here. Everybody's got to have a part in this thing. And, uh, man, it was Blaze's turn tonight, and Kate finished the thing off like he's done many times all year long. And Justin was special uh, the entire game and really sparked us. So proud of our guys, proud of the way we hung in there, and 
man, the great thing is we get to play some more, so we're having fun. Okay, we'll open it up for questions now for the student athletes. If you have a, a question, raise your hand. We'll get a hand mic to you. And we'll start with Evan. Evan Bland, Omaha, World Herald for Blaze. Obviously, just walk us through that that home run. What did you see? Uh, did you know it was out right away? Kind of what was going through your mind? Yeah, so um, when Max scored our shortstop, uh, he came around. And he said uh, he's throwing nothing but sliders. So that was kind of my approach, was just see something up, hanging. And um, he left me too hanging, and I took advantage of it. Um, so, yeah. Jake. Jake McKeever, College Baseball Central. Okay, they fell off a ton of pitches in that last inning, a ton of high stress. How did you kind of calm your nerves when there were, every pitch meant so much? Man, um, like you said, fouling off a lot of pitches. I wasn't making the pitches I wanted to. Um, on the second out of the, on the strikeout, I finally executed a slider uh, where I needed it to be and got a swing and miss. So that gave me a little bit of boost of confidence there. And obviously, I just know I need to fill up the zone and trust my stuff. Um, I got pretty good stuff whenever uh, whenever I'm in my best. So uh, I knew if I just filled up the zone there, and even if they were fouling it off, that's still me doing my job throwing strikes. So just kept doing that. OK, Mike, uh, uh, back here. Uh, Darren Wallace, Mako Sports. Um, Justin, uh, you know, you've, you've been the hero yourself before, uh, and, and being a part of that moment there in the ninth inning, uh, it started off with Mac, you know, hustling out that ground ball. A lot of guys, maybe if they don't, you know, hustle that out, you know, they don't, you know, don't spark the team the way he needs to. Can you speak a little bit to just what it is about your lineup and really one through nine, everybody just no sense of quit, no sense of giving up and just always believing that no matter who it is, whether it be, you know, Jonah or, you know, Blaze being able to come up with those big hits? Yeah, I mean, it just shows the belief and fight that we have, pretty confident and just playing together is special. And I mean, to answer your question, like, repeat it again, you said, <laughs> <laughs> you said. <laughs> Just if, if you could speak to, uh, you know, no matter who it is in the lineup, it feels like anybody can come through with a big hit. You know, like like I said, you know, whether it be, you know, like someone like yourself or someone that, you know, is a nine hitter like Blaze, and that's not a slight to him in any way, but really anybody can do it. Can you explain why, you know, what the what the mentality is of your lineup one through nine to be able to always come up in these big moments? Got you. Like I said, um, the fight that we have and the discipline that we have at the plate is pretty special one through nine. And I mean, can be anybody like it was Blaze tonight. And yeah, I mean, we talk about it all year, responding when they do. And they scored three there in the eighth inning. And same mentality is just respond. So we came out and responded with a four spot of our own. So I think it's pretty special. OK, back over here, Matt. Yeah, Matt Tallerini from World Baseball Network. This is going to be for Justin. Justin, how does it feel not only to come off on the left side of the win column, but it hasn't been it's been quite a while since Oral Robert has been in the College World Series since 1978. And um, what's the advice that former alumni and let alone current major leaguers that um, have seen you guys blossom throughout the course of the last few months? Just tell us, keep going. What we're doing is pretty special and they enjoy watching it and we enjoy doing it. So as long as we keep confidence up and keep going, I think we can get it done. So. Okay, uh, back here in the back. Yeah, saw him first, Joe. Yeah, Keenan Dixon, the Summit League. Uh, I mean, we've seen it all year just from the league perspective, but I think nationally people are starting to get an understanding, and this goes for any of you guys, but the, the composure that this lineup has and the entire team has, it seems like it's unwavering. How does a team get to that point where we saw it last week in Oregon, there was no quit. We saw it today, there was no quit. What does it take? for the team to get to that point here in June, you know, the work in the fall and in the winter and everything. Cade, why don't you start? I got it. Yeah, confidence in one another. Um, like we said, we have a solid lineup one through nine, and every single guy in that lineup knows the guy in front of them can go out there and get a hit and get the job done every single time. So that instills confidence in yourself, knowing that you're the next guy in that lineup. Um, same with the pitching staff. Everybody knows every, the guy behind you can go get it done. Obviously, it may be a little bit shaky here and there, but... I mean, 
we go out and throw strikes and as a pitching staff i think we all we have very complete confidence in each one of our pitchers to go out there and get their job done so i'd like to answer your question just just confidence in each other and trust in each other i want to add off that though i want to credit the coaching staff mm -hmm. for keeping us locked in and giving us the scouting report every game day in and day out just keeping us motivated and credit the coaches for getting us prepared to be in this situation well, add a little something. Um, we're just a bunch of old guys that are really gritty at the plate, so that's kind of how that's our attitude towards it. So, yeah. Okay, Joe, right here. Uh, Joe Healy, D1 Baseball. Uh, Blaze, what can you say about the team defensive effort today? Felt like it kept y'all in the game long enough until you could get the offense going. Yeah, uh, I feel like we've always been pretty good defensively. Um, me and Mac have a lot of chemistry up the middle, which is really good. And our third base, Holden Breeze, uh, I live with him. So I feel like in the infield, oh, and Jake, he's my roommate on away games. So I feel like we have a lot of chemistry just on and off the field. And, um, yeah, our outfielders are just unreal out there. So <laughs> credit to those guys. Okay, back over here. Leanne Taylor from Channel 6 in Tulsa. I want to ask uh, players first and then coach. Top of nine, you're Just down. Just players right now. Just players right now. Tell me, what did co Coach tell you? Because then I'll ask Coach what he said. What did Coach tell you at the top of nine? Okay. I'm sitting in the dugout watching our guys go out and put four up on the board. And obviously, I came into that dugout thinking I needed to go back out and get a job done if we get a lead here. So being able to get that opportunity from these guys, uh, Wes comes over to me after Blaze's home run and said, this is your game. So obviously going into that, I knew that I had to go and give my best effort out there. So um, after that first inning, uh, lacking a little confidence, uh, Blaze's home run definitely instilled that confidence in me. And knowing that West is going to hand me the ball out there in that ninth inning, it, it instills infinite amount of comp infinite amounts of confidence in a pitcher to go out there and get the ball after uh, after getting the lead. What'd you hear? Uh, they just want to tell us string got string together like good AB. So. Stay relaxed, go out there, just be who you are. And if we put together a couple good ABs, I mean, we can create a rally. So, and that's what we did. So, please. Um, uh, on the mound, he just said, go win this game right here. And that just kind of like instilled a little bit of confidence, like in us too, out there, like, let's go get this. Like, we're right here, let's go get it. Okay, we're going to have one time for one more question, and we'll go back here. Matt Arenas, White and Blue Review, this is for Blaze. I think we've kind of all heard the description of what it feels like on the hands when you hit one like that. But what's it feel like as you're rounding the bases? How slow does that moment feel as you're rounding the bases after, especially now in this stage and what that hit meant? It was. It was like slow motion. Uh, right when I felt it off the bat, it felt pretty good. And I saw the left fielder kind of turn around, and I was like, oh, that ball's out. Let's go. And I just wanted to get around the bases to celebrate with the boys. And, yeah, it was just an unreal feeling. It was awesome. He's hey guy. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you. You're excused. Thank you. And Leon, let's let's give Leon the uh, Leon the uh, yeah, the uh, yeah well uh, Leanne her follow up. Yeah, Leanne Taylor from Channel 6 out of Tulsa. Coach, uh, just from your perspective, it's interesting to hear what the guys heard. What did you, what did you feel going into that? Um, I, don't, I don't know what we felt, but, uh, man, it's not the first time we've had to overcome some adversity in the postseason. Uh, we're down 8 nothing in the second inning in the regional to Washington, a really good club. Uh, we blew an 8 nothing lead and had to come back and win a series after game one in, in Eugene, so... Been there, done that. Uh, you know, obviously it's a shortened game at that moment, and it's got to happen quick. But uh, man, our guys don't quit. They're gonna, they're gonna keep playing. They're gonna keep fighting. They're gonna find a way. And you know, I talked about this when uh, we were down eight nothing to Washington in, in game two of the regional in Stillwater, um, and it was ugly. First two innings were ugly. It was not good. And in a, some weird way. Um, it's like it juiced our guys up. I don't know what it was. It's not something I said or did. Um, and it was that same feeling today after you give up those three big runs and it kind of juiced our guys up. And it, it's like they just, 
They wanted to get after it and got used up. I don't know. It's a weird feeling. I know Coach is sitting here. He's probably had several of those moments, man. But it's uh, it's fun to be a part of. Um, it's it. This is a player-led team, and they were juiced up and ready to go. I think it comes from a lot of good leadership inside our clubhouse. Okay, we'll start Evan right here. Evan Bland, Omaha World Herald. Um, Ryan, I was wondering if you could speak to to Cade bouncing back. I mean, he comes in probably a little bit nervous there, gives up the lead, and then comes out in the ninth and does what you guys need to do, just the mentality that it takes to, to weather that kind of roller coaster of emotions there. Mm -hmm. that w that's what makes them good. That's what makes all those guys at the back end of games good, the short memory and you know the opportunity to go get it again. It takes a special guy to pitch at the back end of a game. It is. It's different. I don't care what anybody says. It's different. It takes a different mentality. Um, he is calm, cool, and collected. Got in the dugout, regrouped. We took the lead, and uh, I think everybody at that point was confident he, he had a chance to get it done for us. So uh, proud of the way he responded and hung in there and, man, was able to flush that, that, that first half inning that he had. So, uh, you know, I think that's just uh, 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 what our team stands for and what our team looks like. Uh, it's going to take everybody. We're going to need him again at some point. Uh, just like uh, the rest of those guys, I thought Dalton Patton was really good out of the bullpen, gave us gave us some work. I think it was good to get Caleb Isaacs in there out of our bullpen because we're going to need him uh, moving forward as well. But glad Cade got that opportunity to kind of redeem himself. Okay, Jake. Jake McKeever, College Baseball Central. Coach, TCU is a team that likes to run. Can you talk about how – you know, refreshing it is to have Godwin back there to control the running game. <laughs> no, we wish you had him a lot longer. That's the only issue. But you know what? Uh, I, I, when you look at us defensively, and I know somebody mentioned our defense earlier, uh, man, I've been doing this a long time. Um, I don't know that I've been around a better defensive team. Um, when you look at in all three levels, when you look at the outfield play and the way it is, uh, you look at our infield play and McCroskey and McMurray, especially those guys are uh, are special. But our pitcher catcher combo has been just as good all year long. Just uh, you know, you look at Jacob Hall and what he does and able to field his position and control the running game like he did today. And then you you know you have that safety net and that leadership role and a guy in Jacob Godman that can that can control the game. I know they had one other attempt. It was almost a strike him out, throw him out situation. Again, another ball he put right on the back. So he's been special all year long. I'm glad people are starting to see it right now. Okay, Daryl. Hey, Coach. Um, you know, you were able to pull out this win with, you know, two of your better hitters in the lineup going over. You know, obviously Jonah Cox, one of the better hitters in the country, and Matt Hogan not being able to uh, – record a hit today so what kind of confidence does this give you know you and the rest of the guys moving forward knowing that you know even when they're not able to you know play maybe their best you can still pull out a win you know on this stage this time of the year well, it takes takes everybody it takes everybody if you want to win and win at a high level it's going to take every guy in your lineup uh, if you rely on one or two guys uh, I don't think you're going to play very long uh, the other thing I think it does is, is guys understand, guys that have been in our lineup understand they don't, they don't have to win it. They don't have to win it. Jonah doesn't have to win it for us. Matt doesn't have to win it for us. we got a lot of guys that can play, and that's why you have a team. This is not an individual sport. It's a team sport, um, and I think that is, uh, is a way that a lot of pressure is relieved off a lot of those guys because they know they don't have to win it. Jo Jonah knows he doesn't have to win it. Matt knows he doesn't have to win it. They just got to do their part. And sometimes you play better, and sometimes you don't. And that's the way this game goes. But that's why you got nine guys, um, and it's a great team sport. Okay, Mitch, back here. Yeah. This will be the last question of the session. Uh, Mitch Sherman, The Athletic. Uh, Coach, can you just speak to what kind of an accomplishment now that, it, that the hit streak is over, um, That what, what he did this season, and, and, and also – you had gotten the lead by the time he came up in the ninth. What you were, what you were expecting from that at bat? Nothing. I mean, I mean, the expectations at that point, man. We're trying to score, trying to win a game. I don't think anybody in the moment is worried about a streak or anything like that. So in the moment, man, that's not, you know, that's not something we're thinking about. Uh, now that it's over, though, having a chance to reflect, how special is that? He's one of three guys in college baseball. One of three. This game's been going on for a long time, and, and, and to have yourself in that category, 
and is unique and special, and we're proud of, of him and his accomplishment. And, uh, you know, I, I can't imagine the pressure he was going through. I wasn't good enough to do that, right? So to have him go through that, um, you know, is, is special. And, and I mentioned this yesterday, too. That wasn't just Jonah Street. That was, it. That was everybody. Everybody's uh, a huge part of that. For him to be able to do that, you got you got to be a great player, and he is. He has good bat to ball skills. He can really run. He can do some things, uh, but there there has to be some other things. You got to have good people around you to be able to protect you, so you can get enough pitches to extend those kind of streaks. And we had that, right? What Justin did and what Hoagie did behind him uh, are just as impressive. And then you got to have some luck too. Uh, and he certainly had moments where where some things went his way too. So, a combination of a lot of things, but. Uh, man, I, I, I'm blessed and happy that I had a chance to have a pretty good seat to watch the thing. Um, you know, hopefully now it relaxes him a little bit, too. I know the focus for him is, has been a lot on that. He's had to answer a lot of those questions and, and carry that pressure. But uh, it's over now. Now he can relax and, and go play. Ryan, thank you. Thank you. We'll see you Sunday night.